This is the Lumia 950 XL disassembly video. Before performing any repair actions, make sure you are familiar with these warnings and cautions. For disassembling, you need the Nokia Standard Toolkit version 2. Protect the touch window with protective film. Release the back cover from the bottom corners. Lift the back cover from the bottom end and remove it. Use the groove on the engine cover to lift out the battery. Unscrew the 12 Torx plus size 4 screws in the shown order. Remove the USB support with tweezers. Lift the engine cover top end first and remove it. Peel off the battery deck label using tweezers and fingers. Open the display connector, the sub-engine board connector and the side key flex connector with the SS93. Start to remove the engine board by releasing the shown clip at the top end with the SS93. Next release the long narrow part of the engine board. Then release the two clips at the bottom end. Lift and turn over the engine board to a 90 degree angle to get access to the front camera connector. Open the front camera connector with the SS93. Remove the engine board. Open the camera connector and remove the camera. Open the AV jack flex connector and remove the AV jack. Open the micro SD card reader connector. Release the micro SD card reader with the SS93 and remove it with tweezers. Note: This section is only for the dual SIM variant. Open the second SIM card reader connector. Release the second SIM card reader with the SS93 and remove it with tweezers. Peel off the engine board bridge holder with the SS93 and discard it. Note that it is not a spare part, it is needed only for production purposes.
open the IR sensor flex connector and remove the IR sensor. Remove the IR sensor connector support with tweezers. Release the sub-engine board flex from the engine cover with the SS93. Release the sub-engine board with the SS93 from the shown place. Remove the sub-engine board. Release the earpiece gasket from the sub-engine board with the diddle tool and peel it off with tweezers. Remove the front camera with tweezers. Peel off the adhesive left from the sub-engine board flex. Release the viber with the SS93 and remove it with tweezers. Peel off the adhesive remains. Release the side key flex with the SS93. Remove the side key flex. Remove the IR LED lens with tweezers. Release the IHF speaker with the sharp end of the SS93. Remove the IHF speaker. Peel off the speaker adhesive with the dental tool and tweezers. Peel off the speaker back gaskets with a dental tool and tweezers. Release the earpiece with a sharp end of the SS93 and remove it with tweezers. Carefully peel off the earpiece flex using the SS93 and tweezers. Release the flash pogepin by pushing it from the other side as shown. Remove the flash pogepin. Remove the LED flash by pushing it from the outside of the engine cover. Peel off the flash adhesive from the LED flash.
Remove the camera window by pushing it from the inside of the engine cover. Peel off the camera window adhesive from the engine cover. Release the NFC poke pin with the diddle tool and remove it with tweezers. Peel off the NFC poke pin adhesive. Release the speaker nut with the dindle tool and remove it with tweezers. Peel off the type label. Peel off the adhesive remains. Remove the two microphone nets. Remove the two battery gaskets with tweezers. Remove the two microphone gaskets from the inside of the engine cover. Remove the vibrant gasket. Remove the grounding pad and the grounding gasket. Peel off the thermal pad. Remove the speaker gasket from the back cover. Remove the microphone gasket from the top end of the back cover. Remove the microphone hole cover. Remove the microphone gasket from the bottom end of the back cover. Now the disassembly procedure is complete.